let's look at the Navajo code, Talker's code. The idea behind this code was really to find an indecipherable code and one that was based on an unwritten language. And it was Philip Johnston, the son of a missionary of to the Nav Navajos, who actually proposed its usage. At the time there was only about 30 non-Navajo speakers in the world of which none were Japanese. And really the code is based on their language where certain words uh, such as related to organizations, officers or countries were translated into a literal format so in this case Major General was a two-star general and then that was then translated into an equivalent Navajo word with words that weren't part of this standard dictionary then they would revert back to an alphabet. So in this case we have an A and within a, the, an English equivalent we have an ant and the equivalent was this here. So if the word wasn't in the dictionary then uh, it was possible for the code talkers to actually spell the code out in their native language. There was about 420 of these uh, code talkers that, that were trained and they served in, uh, in places like uh, Iwo Jima and in other places in the Second World War. So if we take a, a random word, we can see here uh, a B is mapped to the, to the first word. So if we just check that, then a B is this. That gives us our first word. An E is next. And we can see this gives us our second word and, and so on. In terms of the frequency distribution, if we were to convert it into English, we can see that it's fairly scattered in its structured structure would be very difficult because we're now using words instead of actual letters to be able to find some frequency analysis uh, around it especially as we're using a standard dictionary. So we wanted to take an example here so for example we could take navy and navy becomes this. In 19 92 on the 17th of sept September, the co talkers uh, were uh, awarded at a ceremony at uh, in at the Pentagon in Washington for their contribution to the Second World War effort. <laughs> 